So once you got your materials and shaders picked out, the next step is to start creating your texture maps. Now Arc System's texturing can be separated into five steps. Color planning, detail planning, UV mapping, albedo mapping, and AO mapping. But today we are covering color planning. Guilty Gear texture maps are decided based on color. Generally all you have to do is try and keep things with the same color close together on the UV map. To do that, you need to know your character's color palette. A color palette is just a list of colors for your character. Generally, if you're doing anime, I'd recommend keeping it small, so try and keep it between 8 and 10 base colors. For example, if you include the skin and the lips, my character's entire palette is comprised of no more than 10 colors. And once you have the palette, generally what I would do is just create a separate material for each possible color on your character. Then I would go into edit mode and assign each color to the appropriate faces. And I would do this for the entire model. Remember, this is just a guideline. The final scheme will look a lot more detailed. And once you got the colors separated, I would also go ahead and separate them into different areas on your UV. For example, on this gun, I moved all the black areas to the left, the light gray areas to the top right, and the dark gray areas to the bottom right. It's fine if the areas don't fit perfectly. It's never gonna be perfect. Just try and do your best. Once you're done, you are ready for the next step, which I will show you in the next tutorial. Until then, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fan. Fantastic day, and I'll see you around.